Back across the country, school lunches will be free for the rest of the year thanks to federal COVID-19 aid. U.S. Secretary of Agriculture and former Georgia Governor Sonny Perdue made that announcement this morning at Bonaire Elementary School. Sarah Hammond has more on what that means for families in central Georgia. With Secretary Sonny Perdue's announcement, parents in Houston County and across the country will see a little more relief when it comes to feeding their kids. During a regular school year, nearly 60% of students in Houston County receive free or reduced price school meals. So I think when you remove the barrier of price, it just puts all kids on a level playing field. Congress passed the Families First Coronavirus Response Act back in March, which allowed all students to eat for free. Those funds were expected to last through June of 2020. On Monday, Secretary Sonny Perdue announced they can stretch that money a little more. We can extend the summer program waivers through December, allowing every child to eat free no matter their economic circumstances. They have not received more funding from Congress yet, but he says they feel confident. Director of School Nutrition in Houston County, Meredith Potter, says since March they've given out 1.4 million meals. Funding or not, we're going to continue to do what we can to provide food for our kids. And so we adjusted back in March and we will adjust again. Superintendent Mark Scott says this news will be a weight off of some families' shoulders. I heard from parents whose family situation had changed, whose employment situation had, had changed, and uh, it, it really allows us to rest easy knowing that children are being fed and provided a nutritious meal every day. And Purdue also wanted to offer a big thank you to school nutrition workers who he says have been working harder than ever to make sure kids stay fed during this pandemic. In Bonaire, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Sonny Purdue did say if Congress does not allocate any more money, they would have to pull back those waivers and return to a free and reduced priced meal system.